Hey everyone, welcome to Dub Ventures. If you're new to the channel, my name's Tom, and this is our hashtag VW Swamper camper van. Now, one of the things that we've actually had done to the camper van is we've actually had these black Rhino wheels fitted with the BF Goodridge KO2 offload wheels. Now, the reason that we've got them is we're going to be doing a lot of travel where we're kind of, kind of going to be going off the off-beaten track a little bit. Now, because these wheels are so big and so chunky, what I've noticed is that the tires, they kind of like get everything from the road and they like fling it up into the wheel arch area. Now, these wheel arches, they're only got like the factory sort of like protection from, from new. And what I'm going to do at some point, I'm going to actually underseal all of underneath the van. But one of the things that I want to do now is I want to underseal the wheel arches. So today's video is all about I'm undersealing the wheel arches. Now before I do that, I need to actually clean underneath the wheel arch and I'm going to jet wash it. Now that gives me an opportunity to actually power the jet wash off of the Eco Power power station that we've got. Moment of truth. Let's see if this can power the jet wash. Yes, it can. How fantastic is that? Right, just need to let that dry off a little bit and then I'm going to mask it all up and get the underseal under the wheel arch. Now while that's drying, what I'm going to do is, this is the underseal that I'm using just for the wheel arch, it's the Hammerite underbody seal, it's got added wax oil in it as well. What I'm going to do is put this in a bucket of hot water just to keep it sort of like easy to spray because apparently it's quite thick this when it comes out. side dry for a little bit it's gone on quite easy looks quite nice so far so just gonna get this side sorted This takes a couple of days to dry, so I will keep you updated, but it's gone on really well, really easy, so I'll let you know in a couple of days how it is. Hey everyone, it's a couple of days later, and I'm really, really happy to report that the under seal, probably won't be able to see it very well, but I've read a few like things that like people have used this before and it remains tacky, but I've just been pressing it and everything, like having a look at it, and do you know what? It's dry and it's fine. Really, really happy with it. One thing that I will say though, if you are gonna do a job like that is, it's messy, it gets everywhere, so put some gloves on. 
I have to say, I was actually quite surprised that this power unit could actually power the jet wash, but it did. And do you know what? I used the jet wash for about five or 10 minutes and it only used a couple of percentage of the actual battery power. Now we've actually been sent a solar panel, a 100 watt solar panel for the EcoFlow power station. So whilst it's sunny, let's get it set up. while the sun's shining I may as well get the EcoFlow power station charged up and the good thing about these solar panels is they actually are 20% more efficient than 120 watt solar panels because this one's 100 watt and I'm really pleased with it these actual stands can be adjusted to a 25 35 and 45 degree angle to get the ideal setting for where the sun's shining these solar panels actually work a lot of different power units. So even if you don't have the EcoFlow one, you can actually get one of these to charge your items up. Now you can actually get these just to like charge your mobile phone and things like that. You can just get an adapter, plug it into it so that it actually charges it up. So really, really handy thing to have, especially for van life. I'll leave a link in the description for the XTAR SP100 solar panel, where you can find out more information if it's gonna be suitable for your needs. Don't forget also, if you want some Dove Ventures merchandise like t-shirts and hoodies, I'll put a link in the description for that as well, so help support the channel and go and get some of your merch. Right, so buzzing about that. That's it for today's video. Keep an eye out for the next video because we're actually going to be answering some questions that some of our subscribers have been asking us and it's to do with how we actually plan our journeys and things. So keep an eye out for that one because it's going to be quite interesting. So guys, until the next one, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Press the like button. Until the next one, bye for now.